everyone. Welcome to the greenhouse. If you're new, I'm Danny. If you've been here before, welcome back. Today I'm going to give my best advice for beginner Phalaenopsis orchid growers. I'm going to touch on rescue Phalaenopsis, humidity, pots, flowering. So let's get into it. As I've said before, a lot of us start our orchid hobby from buying clearance orchids, rescue orchids from the clearance rack at grocery stores. And this is great because it does give you experience, trial and error, what works and what doesn't work, trying to revive a rescue orchid. As you can see here, this is a great example. It's been going on two years with this rescue Phalaenopsis. She's finally bloomed for me. Her new leaves are looking better, but it's been two years. And so what this can do for beginner growers is discourage you because you're constantly trying to baby these orchids to just thrive to just live and as a beginner that can get very daunting so i would suggest go out and buy yourself a healthy phalaenopsis from an orchid nursery because what that's going to do that's going to boost your confidence you're going to get to know the normal growing cycles of a Phalaenopsis without complications. And that in itself is a great learning experience. Something else I see quite often in orchid forums on Facebook for beginners are people asking questions. I just brought my orchid home, woke up this morning, and now she has one or maybe all of the blooms are wilted and droopy. What did I do wrong? Somebody help me. This is normal. This is normal to have a wilty bloom once you bring your blooming orchid home, even if it's the healthiest of healthy Phalaenopsis. This is normal because your orchid has changed environments. It's gone from one environment at the nursery to the environment at the grocery store to the environment now to your home. So this is normal, it's nothing of concern, you've done nothing wrong, faded blooms are very normal when changing environments for the orchid. The next thing we're going to speak about is leaf dieback. And this is something all else I also see a lot in orchid forums for beginners is why are my Phalaenopsis leaves turning yellow and shriveling and dying? Well don't fret, this is normal. Phalaenopsis will tend to lose their lower bottom older leaves. And in my experience, they are doing this because they're putting a lot of energy into growing new leaves or flowering. So this is completely normal. Nothing that you're doing wrong. It's just the normal cycle of the Phalaenopsis orchid. The great debate, plastic versus clay. And let me tell you, you're not going to know as a beginner which one you grow better in until you've had some trial and error. As a beginner, I repotted all of my stuff in plastic and I was killing it because I am an overwater and plastic retains that moisture so much longer. So when I switched to terracotta clay pots, I became a lot more successful because the the clay wicks away the moisture so much faster from that media inside your pot so that's really helpful if you are an overwater like myself now that i've learned a little bit of self-control i am having success in growing in plastic and i really enjoy it because you do get to see how the roots are looking inside of the pot itself it's very helpful to know what dry roots look like versus roots that don't need watering. Your dry roots that need watering will have a silver sheen to them like this. And that's because they have dried up and they now need water. And as you can see, the wet roots are nice and green. So when you have an orchid like this that has some aerial roots that need watering, you can just take a spray bottle and mist those upper roots without having to water the entire plant because these roots do not need it. The last thing I do want to touch on is humidity. 
Remember, these are tropical humidity loving plants. They will thrive between 50 and 60% humidity. So go out and buy yourself just a cheap little gauge like this. You can find them at any hardware store. They run from $1 up to 30. And if you're having humidity below 50% in your house, I would suggest in a humidifier. This one was 20 bucks at Home Depot. Put it near your orchids or in your grow room and your orchids will thank you for that extra humidity and they'll love it. I hope this video was helpful for beginner orchid growers. If you have questions, leave a comment. And until next time, guys, happy growing.